Hey you guys, my name is Josh and in this video I'm going to show you how you can create this awesome spin transition that you can create and save and use it in the videos that you're creating. Alright, so here we are in Adobe Premiere Pro and let's take a look at how to create a spin transition just like this. So I already have a project open with two clips in it. I shot this video with my drone up in northern Michigan actually and the water is like superior. So first off go to your project manager and click new item and then create an adjustment layer. Make sure that the width and height are the same dimensions as your video and hit ok. Do this again so you have two adjustment layers to work with. Now drag the adjustment layer into your sequence where the two videos come together. Now you can make this transition however long you want or need to but 20 frames seems to be the sweet spot for this transition. To get the 20 frames, put your cursor at the seam of your two videos and just hit the arrow key to the left 10 times. Use the cut tool and cut here. Now do the same thing on the right side so you have your full 20 frames. Now place the second adjustment layer on top of this first layer and then you can just cut off the excess that you don't need. Now we can begin to apply our effects. Go into the effects panel and search for replicate and drag and drop this onto the bottom layer. Now put your marker between the two clips and then in the effects control change the count to 3 so that there are 9 frames within your one video. Now go back to the effects panel and search for the mirror effect and then drag this onto the bottom layer as well. Now change the reflection angle to 90 degrees and then you'll want to move the Y axis so that the edges of the frame match up. Now the reflection center has your X axis and your Y axis. So line these up just like this. So now add another mirror effect to this layer and set the angle to negative 90 degrees. And then again align the edges of the frame. Add another mirror effect and set the angle to 180 degrees, but this time move the X axis to align the edges of the first line. Now you can add your last mirror effect and leave this angle at zero, and then you'll move the X axis to the align the edges one last time. Now if your sequence has the same dimensions as mine, 1920 by 1080, then you can pause the video here and just type in these same settings I have on the screen and it should work just fine for you. Now that the bottom layer is all set, let's move on to the top adjustment layer. Now on this layer you'll want to search for the effect transform. This is under distort and then you can drag this right onto the top layer. Now go to the transform settings and set the scale to 300. This will zoom into the center of your frame so that you can't see the replications that we just made on the bottom layer. And this makes it so that when the clip is spinning, you don't see any of the black background where the edge of the frame is because there's no video there. Now it may look a little pixelated, but this will go away once we set the blur. Next, you're going to want to uncheck the box that says use composition shutter angle. Then turn the shutter angle up to around 300. The max is 360 and this just determines how much of a blur there's going to be. Then bring your marker to the beginning of the adjustment layer and create a keyframe. You can create the keyframe by just clicking the rotation stopwatch here and this will add a keyframe where your marker is and then leave the rotation at 0 degrees which is the default. Then go to the end of your layer and change the rotation to 360 degrees and this will add your last keyframe. Now you're all set, go ahead and render this and check it out. Now one last tip if you want an even smoother transition is to add a cross dissolve transition to the two video clips. Just search this in your effects panel and drag it onto the two clips just like this. Now this is a pretty basic transition and you can make adjustments to this to make it a little bit more your own. You can even copy and paste these two layers on top of other clips in a different project and use them again. Now if you want to save these as presets, you're going to have to save each layer as a separate preset or you can save the Premiere file and then whenever you need it you can just open the project back up and just copy and paste those two layers. There you have it, a simple way to make a spin transition. Now you can follow me on social media at the Jawsbo. And as always, make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see some more tutorials and some other content that I'm creating. Thanks everyone, peace out.